that whole business model already built. You're gonna tour off the music, you mm-hmm. gonna, you know what I mean, get your iTunes money, your Spotify money. So if nobody bought a hundred dollar CD, every other stream of income off the album was still locked in already. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't really we couldn't lose nothing. Win-win yeah. almost. It was yeah, if, if two people came, we was gonna be two hundred up. He sold a mixtape for a hundred dollars, had thousand like I think like a thousand copies of that, right? Um, had people like Jay Z buy into it, support it. People thought he was crazy, but uh, I want to talk about the business model of it because we think when we have a crazy idea like that, like oh my god, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, what happens, right? And what Nipsey said when somebody asked, like, did did you ever? worry if this wasn't going to work or not i was like oh my man's a genius but don't believe me you hear it okay you hear it racking leading up to that like damn like should i like what if nobody comes and spends a hundred dollars on this nah i didn't even i wasn't worried because it came out on itunes the next morning and it came out uh as a mixtape the next day so that whole business model already built. You're gonna tour off the music, you mm-hmm. gonna, you know what I mean, get your iTunes money, your Spotify money. So if nobody bought a hundred dollar CD, every other stream of income off the album was still locked in already. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't really we couldn't lose nothing. Win yeah. win almost. It was yeah, if, if two people came, we was gonna be two hundred up. Mm. Mm. I love that. Talk about being like educated about your industry or your space that you already know what is the standard basic model or basic expectation that you are going to get out of what you're doing, right? Like it's like there is no guessing game as it relates to this. However, comma, as you would say, right, there is opportunity for us to innovate and try something new Mm -hmm. or give something exclusive to the true more dedicated individuals or people who really appreciate the music and the art that we have put out. And so let's try to give them a a more closer experience or a more exclusive experience. So leading up to that time, he's, he was someone who was always community based, right? So he's, he's been big on community. He's been serving and kind of giving out a lot of his music and built a pretty good community. So, I love the fact that one, he understands the model or he understands what is there. And while this got more attention, it didn't seem like it was the the primary move, right? Mm-hmm. Like it, it stood out because it's like, what? You sold the mixtape for a hundred dollars. So of course th- that that brought more attention, but that was there's no telling that that might have been just a kind of like, oh, let's just try this in addition to it because we have nothing to lose being that we got this play, this thing in place. So I think the lesson we can all take away from this here is, yes, innovate. Yes, try new things, but make sure that there is a fundamental layer that's always in place that you can fall back to no matter what happens so that you're not risking your entire investment. Yeah, I think... <sighs> This is uh this is eye opening because it's like sometimes we don't have to recreate the wheel, right? It's like I just gotta add on to the business model. I don't have to just come up with a whole new business model. This is stuff if if you heard, like the music was gonna come out already, the tour was going to happen, the merchandise was gonna happen anyways. What can else can I add on that may be in an experimental mode yeah. and but I won't lose anything because I already have the things that already work in place. But I may do this one thing a few days early, a day early, whatever. And if it wins, then we could double up. We could do it again, over and over again. If it doesn't, that's okay. Because how we make money already is there. That's a proven system. We're good. So I look at it like, what are some of the proven systems that, you know, is in our industry that we could just tack on an idea? 
you know, mm-hmm. do this and then it works, right? To then maybe later on with proven facts, like steer away if we don't necessarily like that model, the proven model already, like we could not even care about that and just have it in that one thing. Of course, y'all know I'm going to bring up Kanye. Okay. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what Kanye did with the STEM player, right? Yeah. Like, I, I've proven, and to be honest, that's exactly what he did. Like, he came out with Donda. He he came out with the STEM player. People bought the STEM player as well as still stream Donda, right? But then he was like, I don't need the streaming platforms. I'm going to just release it on the STEM player and still make millions, right? Yeah. Um, and you know, it's all about how do I make back the 30% that Apple takes? Like, how do I make back some of the fees? Um, and, and don't only think like just music, there's going to be fees, whether we use like a Shopify, there's going to be a fees if we use, um, let's say Stripe or something like that, right? There's there's going to be fees that we're always going to think of when we use like middleman stuff or, or use big items. And he said, how can I have complete ownership and complete profits if I put up the money and I, you know, create it all? If somebody buys it, I'm up. Yeah. I'm up. And so I I didn't even know. I thought the the mixtape was like came super early and then down the line the music came out, whatever. Um, but this was just a win win situation that I'm now looking at some of the things we do and I'm like, well, how can it be a win win? Like how can mm-hmm. we still be innovative but not take an L in anything? That we exactly. do. Exactly. Exactly. I don't have exactly. to I don't have to try to be this ultimate innovator and woo 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 and and, and, and be proud that, you know, a uh, hundred of my ideas failed, but this one worked. I, that sounds right. exhausting. Right. Yeah, no, that yeah, <laughs> no, for real. For real. It's like and the key ingredient here too is demand. It's like mm. as long as you have demand from an audience or a key target for what is it that you have to offer, you really have opportunities to try new things. Yeah. But yeah, like, like we said, I think, and, and we're both kind of mim- mirroring the same thing here is the proud to pay campaign made it seem as though that was the idea. Yeah. Not that there were these other concepts around it or, or there were other things in place. And that was a bonus concept that works so well. So it got most of the attention, Mm -hmm. but yeah, that that's definitely a good way to look at it as, as much as possible. We should look to never take an L going into some of these deals. Talk about it. Yeah. But, uh, I was watching another interview and there was supposed to be a proud to pay situation with victory lap. Like there was supposed to be a book. Um, Mm. I don't know if it was, uh, the first rap radar or the second Rap Radar interview, which we, you're going to see a lot of Rap Radar uh, footage in this episode. Just letting you guys know, because it was a really good interview. But he was saying that there was going to be a book and you would see some of the lyrics and like where it was scratched off and where he went a different direction oh, that's dope. and things like that. And it's crazy because I had text out to my text community on some, we sometimes focus on trying to get a hundred thousand followers and a million followers, right? Where we just need to concentrate on grabbing a thousand loyal fans because mm-hmm. we can come up with an idea for a hundred dollars, real quick, launch it, and make a hundred k in a heartbeat. Right. By concentrating on getting a thousand loyal fans instead of a hundred K because loyal fans would be interested in that lyrics and seeing it scribbled and everything. I was like, where is this book? 
Right. Hello. Right. Where is I would pay for that particular thing and hopefully that does come out still, but that's the power of building loyal fans. That's the power of building those those super fans, right? I found out um and, and shout out to when I went to social media uh marketing world. There was a uh individual that DM me that was like, yo, uh, I'm Native American and actually saying tribe is offensive to us. Yes. Mm. Like she was like, I know it's, uh, I know it's a popular term in marketing and things like that. Um, cause you want to build your tribe, but that's actually a very racial slur to, uh, Sure. The Native American, I, I didn't know this. So right. I said, thank you for, because, you know, I never. Yeah, you, for you sure. We don't everything. Mean no harm. Yeah, yeah. So um, I will definitely be more conscious. And if any listener had, is of Native American descent and stuff like that, if this is true, because I was only one person, if this is true, please DM me and let me know. Like, yeah, Nikki, yeah. that is. G- Give us the confirmation. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. But because I don't wow. have the confirmation, I'll still be a little bit cautious of it. But I say all that because um, that's what Nip was really good. Like, he was big on growing a strong following, like a strong fan base, in order to do these proud to pay. Like, of course... uh there's going to be people who are going to bootleg it. There's going to be people yeah. who are going to listen for free. But for those people who truly rock with it after listening to it, it's like, oh, how can I support my man? How can I do this? How can I do that? And he understood he at least had a thousand people, even though he was glo- global. Well, back then it was more nationwide. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, But he knew he at least had a thousand people to do that. And then when he saw the success of that. Right. It was okay. Let's do pop up shops now at the tour. So now that it worked once. okay, let me do this in each city that I'm at. And God knows how if it said one point five mil. And then think about. He also sold, I believe, 60 copies of mailbox money that were a thousand each. Mm. What? Brilliant. That's Crazy. Brilliant. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs>